and commit this meeting into the hands of the Lord and let's commit um, ourselves into the hands of the Lord. Let's pray to be protected in everything we do, in every day we say. Let us pray. Father Lord, thank you for your unending grace, your unending mercies, and your unending favor towards us. We love you, we adore you, and we give you all the glory and all the praise. Who is like unto you, O oh God? We say thank you for all the things that you've done for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Amen. God bless you. So, for today's meeting, I'm taking a bit of your time. Uh, due to a few problems, we delayed today's meeting. Very sorry about that. Can be pardon us? We know we have the best actuality, but hopefully next time uh, we will have a much more punctual meeting according to time. Amen. Okay. Today I want to quickly share with you um, a special message that I think we should all hear at this moment in time. I think that it will transform us immensely and it will transform not only us but our faith in Christ Jesus. Amen. Today's sermon, I don't know how you call it, here. today's message is titled The All right, all right, sir. thank you. Um, today's message is titled The Miracle of Faith. And I'm going to be using the, uh, the book of John 11, verse number 1 to... Uh, Twenty, sorry, thirty-one. Yes. Can you not hear me clearly? Okay, okay, thank you. So, um, we are going to be reading the book of John chapter eleven, and the verse number one, and I want us to look at one of the verses in the chapter of 11 and the verse number 43, but let us read from the verse number 39. It says, roll the stone aside. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. If anyone can get it from me, I'd be very, very glad. I'm reading from the, living, the uh, New Living Translation. It says, roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. But Martha, the dead man's sister, protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Verse 14. Jesus responded, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believed? Verse 41. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus looked up to the heaven and said, to heaven and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so that they will believe what that you sent me. That's only three. Then Jesus said, or then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And verse 44, and the dead man came out, his hands and feet bound in grave cloths, his face wrapped in a head cloth. Jesus told them, and wrap it and let it go. Hallelujah. So, um, I want to share with you on something short today for just a short time. And uh, this is concerning our faith in Christ. Hallelujah. How strong is your faith? Is your, and I want to question you and ask you that, is your faith strong enough? To that extent, to the brim, whereby you can say it can raise a dead person. 
I want you to look at this story right here. I would have read from the verse number one to where we just left off, the verse number 40 or something. But due to time, I want to just emphasize the, that part. You know, it was by the faith of Mary and Martha that actually woke him up. And I will show you why that is so. First of all, you realize that they went to the gravesite. They went to where he was buried. Now, had it been that they did not believe, they would not even take him there. They would have said, oh, he is dead and gone. He is old news, past. So obviously, hmm, nothing to write home about. But they believed that Jesus could do something. Because even Jesus himself wept. Yes, he wept. He cried and then he asked them to take him to the graves. So by their faith, Mary and Martha, they believed that they could see their brother just one more time. Just one more time. And glory to God, they were able to do so by the power of faith. And so today, I want to encourage you to build up your faith very strong as young individuals and as young people of Christ. Uh, I simply adore the growth of this uh, cell or church, whichever one. And I would advise you that pastor shouldn't be the only one going out to win more souls. You should also do that. It builds up your faith. You see, evangelism on its own is faithful. If you don't have faith in what you are doing, you can't do it. You go on evangelism and it will be like you've gone for a jog and you just came back sweating. Yes, that's it. So if you don't have faith that, oh, I am actually going to obtain somebody or I'm going to get someone to change or to transform their life because of my work, it can't happen. So do you believe it? You can't receive it. Christianity is all about faith. You have to believe without actually seeing it. Yes, that is Christianity. That is it. So I want to encourage you today, everyone who is listening to me at the sound of my voice, that have faith in the Lord. Whatever you are going through, whatever problem, whatever thing that surrounds you that has become a problem in your life, faith can deal with it. Every fire that is in your life, that is blazing, as if they put kerosene inside, it can put it out. It can do everything. It can do everything. And it's the main foundation and the base of what we call Christianity. So I want you to hold your faith strong because that's the only thing that will hold us this year, brethren. That's the only thing that will hold us this year. If we don't have faith, we will not be able to withstand anything. We will not be able to withstand anything. So brethren, please have faith in everything, in the things of the, the Lord, in the word of God, in the rhapsody. Have faith in the things of God. And have faith especially in the words that he has written. That's why I always advise that. Sorry? Okay. Alright, thank you. So that is why I was saying that <clears throat> we all have to come together to make ourselves a very strong force of faith. Because with faith, everything is possible. I've not seen any church that is faithful, that is built up by faith, that is empowered by faith, that has ever fallen down to his feet before. Unless there is an Absalom or there's somebody there who wants to destroy that force. But even with that, it is very hard. So you, even with that, you even have to accomplish you have to accomplish a certain amount of people in order to stand against the force of faith. So, everyone who is here, the 13 people who are here, including myself, 
I want us to build our future. That's the only message I have for you today. Because that is the only thing that will help us to stand firm in this particular year. Yes. We don't have anything else to look to. Faith is the only thing that will keep us standing. And if we don't have it, we will lose a lot. We have a lot to lose. Forget all the materialistic things. We have a lot to lose if we don't have faith. We have to build ourselves on faith. Let our life be built on faith. Let our faith in the word be so strong that even if someone tells you the Bible is a lie, you will not even think twice or not even go and sit down somewhere and think about it. That what if what the person is saying is true? That is how strong your faith should be. I know we can do it. Because they say when you are young, you can do many things, many great things. So let us do this. Let us live a good life with faith. And I believe that we will be blessed and be transformed and be impacted in this year for a lifetime. So at this moment in time, to close up and lend over to our esteemed Pastor Max Millen, I want us to pray. Father, Lord, thank you for such an opportunity that you've given me this evening to be here. Uh, Father, Lord, empower us with faith. We know that in everything we do and in everything we say, we need faith. So, Father, Lord, empower us with faith that we may believe in you no matter what. No matter the trial and the tribulations that will pass through, no matter the rough roads that we may go on, no matter the stormy seas that we may sail on, Father Lord, let us have faith. Give us the spirit of faith, the ability to hold our faith strong in this year of 2023. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I pray that whatever thing that we seek by faith, we shall receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Sam, for the opportunity. Over to you, sir.